Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, this video, we're going to continue with our setting up a virtual lab video series, and we're going to be describing or showing you how our IP addresses are set up and how to configure our server properly before we start adding roles to that server, such as DNS, AD, um, DHCP server, and so on. What I got here is a quick rundown of kind of what's going on. And a lot of this you probably already know. And if you don't, cool. If you do, cool. We'll figure it out. So your ISP provides your internet connection. It comes into typically your home router, which typically set up its WAN port for DHCP. So the ISP can give you their own uh, IP address. Then your LAN port is configured to something. Mine is configured to be 10201. And the router hands out IP addresses to all my machines here, including the one we're recording on, uh, in the range of 10.2.0.100 and 10.2.0.150. Actually, I lied. This machine I set statically so I can forward a port so I can remote into this computer from the outside and it won't change. So, But typically, if somebody comes over with their laptop or um, any of the other machines turn on around here, they, have an, they get an IP address of 10.2.0.100 through 150, whatever is available. Now, in our virtual environment, which is here, we set up three machines. PFSense, which is going to be our uh, virtual kind of router. And what, what, what my home router is doing, in, oop, this one here, my home router is doing uh, in relation to this virtual environment is it's, we're pretending that my home router is ISP, basically. And it's handing out addresses, such as here, so it gives, because we set this up with two NIC cards, bridged and internal, it gives our bridged network card, which is our WAN, an IP address, because we set that up Dynet with DHCP. So it's handing out an address, and um, I checked, because I have it running here, and it currently handed out a 10.2.0.142 address. Okay, that's no big deal. We really don't have to worry about any of that. Just know that it exists and that that's kind of how it's working at the moment. So then we have our internal NIC on our PFSense, which we made it, 192.168.1.1. And uh, with our Windows 2012 server and our Windows 8, we haven't configured anything with the networking yet. They're still both set up as DHCP. And right now, I don't have a DHCP server set up on this internal LAN. So when we power these things up, they're probably not going to get the right IP address. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to we're going to first turn on this Windows 2012 server, configure it statically because typically in servers you want them to be set statically. I mean, you could do a DHCP reservation, but I prefer to um, always go with uh, just setting them up static, and then all your clients just use DHCP reservations if you need to um, set them up statically. So let's go ahead and power up our Windows 2012 server. And you can see right here, we are still connected to that disk. And so we're going to remove that. OK, so we want to log in. We're going to go ahead and go insert control delete. We're going to log in with our password that I forgot. Go. Server manager automatically loads, which is always a nice feature. Okay, we want to configure this local server. Computer name, let's give it a name. And, you know, I really don't have a name thought out yet, but let's uh, click on it. We're going to rename the computer to. How about just, um, uh, how about the king? All right, cool beans. We're not going to join domain because we don't have a domain set up or anything. We're just going to rename it. Okay. I know I said we're going to get in here and do the uh, network stuff, but um, let's go ahead and rename it first. <laughs> Control delete. Configure this local server. I'm not going to worry about all that at the moment. OK, so Ethernet. Let's go ahead and click on that. Here's our network adapter. 
And you know what? Just for uh, for giggles, let's see if we can get out on the internet. Let's bring up trusty old PowerShell. As you can see, there's no name resolution, so it doesn't know how to uh, translate that name to a an IP address. Um, so we're definitely not going to be getting out. Let's go ahead and exit that. So what we want to do, let's actually check the IP address that it's given us. And it's given us one of those generic 169 numbers. So you know that there's no DHCP server in this internal network, which we're aware of that. So um, let's go ahead and right click. We're going to go to properties. We're going to come down here to TCP IP version 4. We're going to switch it over to static. Let's give it an IP address. I typically like to give my servers a um, dot 10 address. We're starting at 10. And then I move up from there. So 68.1.10. Now remember, that's the IP address scheme that we gave the PFSense LAN. So we, we got to make sure we're on the same subnet here. So it's going to be class C by default. The default gateway is, of course, our PFSense LAN 192.168.1.1. DNS servers, I'm just going to, um, let's give that just 192.168.1.1, just for now. We're going to be changing all that anyways when we set up the DNS roles and everything. So hit OK, OK, OK. Let's see if we got the uh, IP address, yep. And now we have access. And what it's doing is it's going to our PFSense machine. PFSense machine saying, oh, the WAN port is out here so it goes it knows where to go to get out so we're going to go ahead and exit that so now our server's network is configured properly and uh, at least for this time being before we set up any roles or anything um, we don't want to do anything with our I don't want to do anything with our Windows 8 machine yet because um, I don't want to give it a manual address I don't want to statically give it an address I just want once I turn it on I want DHCP to hand out an address. Now we can make our PFSense server or PFSense uh, box, this one. We can configure this to be a DHCP server, like I mentioned in, in the beginning, but um, I don't want to do that. I want my Windows server to be the DHCP server. So that's basically it right now on how to configure the networking stuff and to show you how it works, to show you that it does work. Um, make sure you set your Windows server statically and uh, point its default gateway to the PFSense's LAN port 192.168.1.1 or whatever your LAN port was configured for in the beginning. And uh, you can test out your uh, connection by trying to just ping something. And we have replies, so we're good.